Uh, the goal is to win. The goal is to win. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling comfortable. Um, yeah, and ready to go for the title in my, in my rookie year. I know it's a long season, but uh, it'd be nice to sort of go in there and be up the front and be pushing for the win straight away in my eyes because you sort of need to come in with almost running and then maintain that through the season. That, that, that would be the plan. Uh, I think it's going to be a bit of a dogfight all year, I've got to be honest. <laughs> It's good actually. We've been we've been down in Spain riding together. We've been um, been Belgium as well, and yeah, it's we're pushing each other on. Both I think we're both feeling feeling good. I can, I mean I am. I've, I, Conrad said before he's he's feeling good as well. So yeah, I mean I think at the minute we're both we're both on the right track. This uh, this winter has been a bit different for me. This off season we've uh, we switched to a new manufacturer. We're on Honda now. Um, we're the Crendon Fast at Honda Racing Team. So. It's been a fantastic winter, um, probably my best one yet to be perfectly honest. I'm feeling really good going into, uh, going into race week, so um, yeah, we've already had some pre-season races as I'm sure you're all aware, we've done arena cross. Um, we had some good results in that, finished second in that, just come up short on the title. Um, but overall it was, uh, it was a fantastic series, we managed to get a lot of starts done, um, a lot of race crafts, so yeah, we're feeling ready. Um, we head back out to Belgium this afternoon uh, to do my final week's preparation. Yeah, really excited, feeling super comfortable on the Honda. Um, the boys have done an amazing job all winter, getting everything ready and it'll be cool. It's, it's good, there's a, there's a good atmosphere in the team. Um, it's all very friendly and uh, I'm happy. So uh, yeah, happy riders and fast rider. So looking forward to the season. Uh, the off season has gone pretty well this year. Yeah, changed teams, um, tried arena cross, something new. We, we've been down to Spain, did some testing for the outdoors, only a day or two for the arena cross. So, yeah, coming into arena cross, it was all, all so new and everything. Um, and then got through that, and in the week, we were still just riding motocross. I, I didn't actually get on a supercross track, um, like in between doing the arena cross. So, yeah, I got, as the weeks went on with arena cross, I slowly started to feel a little bit more comfortable with it. and just kept knuckling down with the outdoors really. Um, but now, now the arena cross is done. We've done a good week in Belgium in the soft stuff, ready for the first round. most comfortable I've, I've felt on a bike ever. Um, I've told the boys that the bike is absolutely incredible. Um, so yeah, if I can't get the job done on this bike, then, uh, then I certainly won't be able to get it done. So um, no, it's, uh, they've given me the best possible opportunity um, and I'm gonna go out there and uh, give it 100% for them. I've heard it's very, very deep sand. So that's all I need to hear, I like that. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I like the sand, um, rougher the better for me, the deeper the better. Um, so yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. We have nothing like that in the UK, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a bit of a change for sure. Um, hence, the reason I'm doing a few weeks preparation in Holland um, because that's the closest thing, hopefully. So uh, yeah, really excited for that first round, especially to get it underway there in the sand. Um, and yeah, hope to have a consistent but a solid weekend. Actually, I haven't changed much on the bike. 
it's uh, from when I got on it, I was comfortable straight away. Rai's done a really good job with the engine. Um, suspension, I've been pretty happy with the whole way. We, we had a good base setting from the start. So it's really, it's just been getting bike time and getting those motos in ready for, for this weekend. Yeah, for sure it's going to be difficult. The class is pretty stacked this year. Um, <clears throat> there's, some, there's some good guys doing it. Um, quite a lot of title contenders actually. There's probably four or five title contenders. So it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting. It's going to make some good racing. I've done uh, all my preparation all winter. Is, uh, it's been towards that goal. Um, so, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I'd be happy with anything else. But at the end of the day, we, uh, I'm still young on the 450. Um, first year in this class. So uh, I'm excited to get it started and see where we're at. into Oak Hanger for the British. Um, yeah, I mean, I've grown up riding hard pack, but as everyone else on the on the start line, they've got, got to be able to ride both. So from about the age of 12 or 13, I kind of got used to, to riding sand, whereas before that, it was actually a little bit of survival if I ever went to the sand track. Uh, so yeah, but now it's, it is what it is and you just turn up and you ride what you're given and uh, like last year at Fat Cat I, I won the race by like half a minute and that's deep sand so yeah I, I can get on with both but I, I like both and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it, a new track. I've been there since I was uh, on a 150 so about 12 um, and yeah I've only had about three years from them on the Husky. So, yeah, back to my roots, really. Uh, the team is, uh, for British Championship, you, you can look no further than these guys, and they've got such a structure and set up for it. It's, uh, yeah, for me, to do the British Championship, if I want to win it, I know what team I've got to be on.